Today we talked about the joy of the Lord. You know, the Bible says that we are to serve the Lord with gladness, not sadness. A few years ago, my interns were calling about a free youth event that we were putting on in their city. And the guy they spoke to was really a negative guy. He began to gripe and complain, telling them, you don't know what I'm going through. You don't know how hard it is to minister to these young people. They don't really listen to anybody. By the time that intern got off the phone with that minister, they were discouraged and they were feeling really negative about life. That's not how God wants us to live. He wants us to have his joy. As a matter of fact, the Bible says to rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say rejoice. Now, some Christians think that the joy of the Lord is more like peace or calm or everything's okay, but it really means to be happy, to be glad. So that scripture really says, re-glad in the Lord or re-be happy in the Lord. And that's what God can do when you surrender your life to Him. You know the difference between a pessimist and an optimist? A pessimist sees a glass of water that's halfway full and says, man, that water, that, that water used to be full all, the way, full all the way up to the top of that glass and now it's just halfway there. And the optimist says, man, look at that glass. It used to be empty and now it's halfway full. It's just gonna get filled up and go, get better and better. That's the same thing in our relationship with God. Our lives can get better and better when we surrender to Him. We don't have to look at our future negatively. We don't have to look at really our current circumstances in such a pessimistic way. You see, God is our Savior, God is our Lord, and He is big enough to solve any of those problems. He's big enough to work all of those things out if we will simply trust Him. So I wanna challenge you today, put a smile on your face and rejoice in the Lord. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength.